I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a river. We're going to take two fingers way over here on the left and put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, and leave it floating. We come back to the dot and we're just going to draw a curved line all the way down and connect. We come back to the dot. We're going to draw a straight diagonal up, curve line down, keep going, keep going, keep going, and leave it floating. Come back over here to the dot and we're just going to draw straight diagonal up, down, up, down, curve line, curve line. Now we're going to draw first and then we'll label everything. Come inside this space and just go zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. And starting right here in the middle, we're going to draw a curve line down, up, down, 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 keep going, keep going, curve line up, and connect. Come back up to this space curve line down. We're going to follow it, keep going, and right about here we deviate up and connect. Come right about here and put a dot. Draw another curve line up and connect. Come back to this dot, continue down, curve line, curve line, curve line and leave that floating. Come right here at this space and we're just going to draw curve line connect, wavy line connect, curve line, wavy line connect. And right here at this space we're just going to go curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Okay. All right, now we're going to divide this all up into three spaces. So right here we just draw a curve line in, out, down, in. We're going to draw a curve line out, up, down, out, down. One more, curve line up, down, and over. All right. Now we're going to number. Come right up here and put a number one. Come down a ways, a number two. Come up over here, let's put a number three. Come down over here, number four. Come over here, number five. Come down here, number six. And down here, number seven. All right, now we'll talk, start talking. First off, this whole space right here is as if you took a slice of earth and just cut it. So this is all going to be one little straight line, make a little line, one little straight line. This is called the upper course. And that's talking about this space. Then as it comes down more, it's called the middle course, like duh. And then this last part right here is called the lower course. So they divide it up into three sections. Okay? Then they call this section up on top, this is the headwaters. The second part they call transfers, and when I say they, I'm talking about other people, geographers. And this last part is called the depositors. 
we'll just put deposit. All right, now number one down below is the river source. And what they're talking about is the mountains and the hills, that's where the river begins. That's the river source. Then number two, all of a sudden, let's put curve line, curve line inside. Number two, that's a waterfall. So as it makes it way, its way down through the land, it also comes into contact with other water descriptors or situations. So one is the waterfall, I mean two is the waterfall, but three up here is also, it branches off into a tributary. Tributary. Then as it comes down further, it meanders. It's called the meander, which I think is interesting. Meander. It makes its way through. Then five all the way down here that is called the delta you can see there's some landforms in there six is this whole area right here that is called the river mouth and seven it empties out into the ocean so it's very interesting to see how the river source, the headwater, starts all the way up here, goes through waterfalls, tributaries, meanders down, hits the delta with some landforms, comes to the river mouth, and then all of a sudden empties, number seven, into the ocean. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is just take my brown and color in lightly my river source which is the mountains and then I'm going to take my green and color in my hills so what you have to remember is is that a river is water that moves okay and downhill as it goes the water joins becomes deeper and wider so I'm going to take my blue green and I'm not going to color in everything because there's too many identifying things going on in this river but I am going to go ahead and take my turquoise my blue green and bring it all the way down so that I don't lose the fact that my river is traveling from the river source all the way down here to the river mouth. So that's going to be my blue green. Then I'm just going to, I've got like a light beige apricot. If you have multicultural crayons, I'm just going to color in my earth cut right here so that you know this is earth. And then I am going to take my green and I'm just going to loop de loop lightly the upper space that my river is traveling through and the lower space that my river is traveling through. It's really interesting to see the movement. Remember, the river is water that moves. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my river all colored in. Remember that it is water that moves that eventually, as it makes its way through all of these other places and entities, it flows into the sea, into the ocean. Okay, bye-bye.